to the first episode of History with Sheila. La 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 la. I'm so excited! Let's talk about Zal. Zal is our national hero. Zal, obviously. Because he is our national hero and he is in our hearts, we must know him very well. Right? Left. Well, Rizal was rich. Or his brother was. And so, he had the money to roam around the world. Rich now! In Hong Kong, he also met a man named Jose Maria Basa, who will become one of the people who will help him in the future. Anyway, he also traveled to Japan. Ni hao. And did you know he had a brief love affair with a girl named Sui Seiko? Laruin niya ating lahat, huwag lang taguan. Bakit? Because you're impossible to find. So Rizal left Japan and went to the States, which he never liked. In Europe, at this point, Rizal started to write the sequel of his first novel. It is entitled, Al Philoid Bostery Smell. Back in the Philippines, Noli Mitani Re had started to influence the Filipinos. The Filipinos, in fact, made a petition demanding the expulsions of friars from the Philippines. People found courage to speak of their convictions. Opinions were being born. Criticisms against friars spread. After that, De La Solidaridad was born, Del Pilar being one of the prominent figures in the publication. La Solidaridad's main aim is assimilation, by which, in contrast with Rizal's idea of separation, by which his second novel's theme, theme is about revolution. Hey, Hitler! Back to the Philippines! A new governor general was appointed. He was a strict one. Moreover, the Nolimitang era was banned. Calamba Laguna was suffering too because of the Dominicans. Cholera also spread. It was truly a dark time in the Philippines. A man named Oscar tried to make a reform for Columbus City. But, B-U-T-T, it was up to no good. Back in Europe, back in Europe, Spain had countered the La Solidaridad. La Solidaridad is now under that pillar's push. Rizal had become a Freemason. He was quite negative at this time. Petas! He was quite worried of his family in their persecution and cholera stricken town. But we can blame him though. After all, my family is the most important person in my life. Thank you. He was also influenced by the sinister character of Simon, the hero, the hero of his first novel, second novel. Yes. Moreover, his works are also being translated into different languages, therefore spreading the awareness of what's happening elsewhere. He was in Paris at the time, and he met the Bullsteads. He showed an interest to the lady Bullstead, Nelly. 
Not again, Visa. But this time, this is the time. This time, he had a competition. And it was who won Luna? Who won? Who won Luna? But apparently, Visa was more romantic. So Luna had to retreat. Yes. Thank you. Hey girl, I got something real important to give you. So just sit down and listen. Girl, you know we've been together such a long, long time. Such a long time. And now I'm ready to lay it on the line. Wow, you know it's Christmas and my heart is open wide. He went to Brussels. No. Brussels. And there, he was able to find time for his novel. Once again. Once again. Once again. Once again. He missed home and wished to return. His family's condition had affected his thoughts. His general mood was becoming darker and deeper. At this point, Rizal started to doubt Del Pinar. He thought that Del Pilar would have served the Philippines better if he stayed. He was right though. He was right. But harsh though. Rizal was a martyr whose life is entirely free of the taint of desiring martyrdom. He desired to live. But he knew he had to sacrifice for his beloved country. Bad news. The case regarding Columba had gone hopeless. It had gone to the favor of the Dominicans. At least El Filibusterismo had been completed. Yes! Yes! But editing was it done yet? To his dismay, Leonor Rivera broke off their engagement. Rizal. Anyway, Rizal had been right. Back to Europe, Rizal had been right about Del Pilar. La Solidaridad was deteriorating under Del Pilar's editorship. Due to this, a conflict between Rizal and Del Pilar rose. Two parties were formed, one for Rizal and the other Del Pilar. An election was held to decide who leads the paper. Rizal won, but he declined the position, resigned and left for Biarritz. This was the beginning of the end of the propaganda movement. Rizal needed time alone. He needed time to think. It was a dark time for him. He had a lot in his mind. Alive in Biarritz, he gave love another go and started courting Nelly Busted. Ayee! Rizal liked Nelly. Nelly also did like Rizal, but she was unsure of commitment. This was all because of religion. Nelly was a Protestant and she was not in favor of Rizal's agnosticism. Rizal's a Freemason, remember? Nelly was ready to marry Rizal, only if Rizal would embrace Christianity as she did. But Rizal wouldn't give in. It meant goodbye. The relationship was off. Poor Rizal. Rizal had a hard time trying to publish his second novel due to lack of funds, but with the help of Valentin Ventura, the publishing costs were paid for. Al Filibusterismo was written in dedication to the memory of Gumburza. If Nolly was compelling, Al Fili was more formidable. It bears an irresistible urge to revolution while promising nothing from it. Now that's messed up. Therefore, the novel is both an incitement to revolution and a dire warning against it. Rizal had finally and officially resigned from the La Solidaridad. Rizal thought he must return to the Philippines. He had to redeem himself from his family and his country. He felt impelled to go back, as not obeying these impulsions, he would fail his duty and mission to his country. This point of Rizal's life was truly a roller coaster. Although this was so, he was able to surpass the obstacles, every obstacle, and became our national hero. And because of that, 
Rizal will always be remembered. You know you love me. XOXO. Got it, girl. Sheila. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. But I. But no, no. Thank you. Ah, wait. Wait, wait, wait.